Hi, welcome to this edition of Channel 65. I'm Daniel. And I'm Farin Ali. Today we're taking a look at the Intel's Classmate PC. So the Classmate PC is actually a little bit like a cross between the OL PC project and the Asus EPC. So uh, the hardware is actually quite similar like the Asus EPC. Uh, Farin, you want to tell them more about it? Yep, but let's turn it on first. Um, this runs on a Celeron processor. How many? 900 megahertz. 900 yeah. megahertz. Uh, less than desirable, but keep in mind that this is meant to be yeah, just like the, the barest PC. essentials. So uh, don't you don't need to expect too much. Five one two RAM, uh, seven inch widescreen PC, two gigabytes oh. of solid state memory. Yeah, and the yeah. uh, expansion at the back, you can slot in a SD card. It's actually very very similar in many in many ways to the uh, the Asus PC actually. Um, I would like to disagree with that. I mean, mm, but okay, let's let's just get to this. Some, yeah. of, uh, some of the things that you might probably notice about mm. this is actually pretty thick, and there's actually a reason for that. Am I right? Mm. It's actually designed to be pretty durable. Um, <coughs> you wanna do it? You wanna? Let's, you, let's you, zoom well, out. Let's, yeah, let's zoom out. Show you. Tell you just a little bit of what we're talking about. Jerry, do you mind if I break your floor? <laughs> Can I do this? All right, go ahead. All right. So this is what a little bit of what they actually showed us uh, uh, on how durable this is. That oh, hurt shit. quite a lot. <laughs> Sorry. It's <laughs> a <laughs> bounce. But anyways, yeah. this is meant to be able to <laughs> to take this kind of knocks. Yeah, and because bounce. it's a little bit of a uh, you know um, designed for rural places, so you know so, it's gonna be a little bit rugged and all that kind oh, of stuff. Sorry. So um, yeah. Uh, so, Fire, you played with it for a few days. What do you think about it? Yes, I have. First thing I like about it is that it can run with Windows. Okay. Um, I you know it gives it's just so much more convenient having to use a Linux. You gotta find special programs just to do like your everyday work on it. Uh. Wow, I don't know what to say. Actually, you know, five one two RAM. What do you think, Daniel? I mean, I I find it like okay. really good. Uh, I I believe computers like this are actually designed specifically simply just for you to do basic things like surf the internet. Sure. Uh, you know, do a little bit of uh, word processing and all that kind of stuff. Five hundred twelve megabytes of RAM is actually alright. It's right. more than enough, and in fact, um, not that it says much, but you can actually run Audacity on this. Yeah, well, yeah, good. Audacity, cool. I mean, you know, Audacity is quite. Um, yeah. <laughs> could, could we? Okay, uh, there's something that the, the first thing when I saw this, uh, could we take a look at the keyboard a little bit? Hmm. The keyboard. Oh, I did have some problems adapting to this. Uh, this is a little bit funny. I'm not sure about the Asus EPC, but uh, there's no shift key on the left. Uh, on the what? On this side. What is right? <laughs> so the the right. Yeah. <laughs> there's no shift key, which and every time I, when I was typing at this, a lot of times when I'm typing, I actually hit the, the up button, thinking it's, it's a shift key. Fine. What you mean? Always shift now. Always shift here, man. Well, <laughs> anyways, so, so, yeah. Well, okay, my my keyboard problem with it is um the apostrophe is at the bottom here. Okay. So every time I hit, I'll hit the colon button. The minor stuff, lah, right? And uh, the, the just trackpad takes, is round. It just takes getting used well, to, well. and the trackpad doesn't have a uh, sidebar scrolling. So okay, yeah, you get really asking irritating. for too much. All right, okay. We, uh, we might be, we might not. Let's show you a little bit more, right? So, because most of you might not be able to get a chance to really, you know, play with this. Mm -hmm. uh, it's so big as you can see. Uh, let's give you a very close look. Okay. So. Okay. So, what uh, do you have? LAN Ethernet. cable. Oh, okay. Whatever. <laughs> uh, one USB port here. Okay. Mic. Uh, headphones. And the uh, cooling you the cooling vent here. Okay. Let's turn it over to the mm -hmm. other side. And the other side is pretty simple. Another another vent here. Another USB port. So there are two USB ports. Okay. And finally, the uh, AC DC adapter. Okay, and uh, here's another interesting thing. Um, this computer is actually expandable as well. Yep. Uh, and <laughs> I, I like the, the way you do this. Do you think that this is customizable, right? The, no, the, well, it's not. Well, it comes with different colors. Yeah, so you can just pull off okay. it. You know, so you put, put whatever ridiculous color you want. If you. Oh, whoops. Yeah. What is it? This is the uh, SDA expansion slot. Yeah. So you can. But it doesn't support SDHC. Oh. So it's, not two. So it's up to about what? 2K. 4K. 4K. Sorry. Oh. To the four gigs. Four gigs. Uh, to the four gigs. All right. Well, yeah, we could get for for a mobile warrior, I guess you don't need too much. And this is a yeah. gap to put back. And the, the speakers are pretty small. Can you take sorry, just one more time? Can we take a look at the speakers? Come on, audio file. Tell me more. Bitch about the speakers or something. <laughs> audio file. When you play on the, you know, when you just play and uh, you know broadcast to the whole world, these suck ass so bad. Okay. Alright, yeah, I won't really expect from the speakers like this. Well, yeah, I okay. guess so. But when you plug it in, actually, you know, the sound's pretty good. Okay, one more, more very important thing, battery life. 
Uh, about I'll say four hours. Four, sorry. Four. Four hours. Four or five. That's good. The Asus EPC is only two hours, so it's it's four hours with the Wi-Fi. Four hours yeah, yeah, yeah. with the Wi-Fi. With the Wi-Fi on. Speaking of which, there's Wi-Fi in case we forgot to mention that, <laughs> right? BNG. Yes, uh, yes, wireless BNG, A02.11 BNG, and uh, this is actually a project by Intel. There's actually a second version coming up uh, pretty soon, so I'm actually guessing that when it comes to Singapore, it'll probably be... It'll probably it'll not, look a little different. It might not be this model. Mm. It'll you... probably have higher specs, I mean. It will probably have higher specs, uh... I mean. <laughs> well, I guess if you consider the Singaporean market, maybe, because, yeah, 900... But anyways, yeah. So, uh, <coughs> do you have anything more to add about the the? Uh, hey, you know, I would say let's play a video here. I like. You have to. Uh, okay. Well, go ahead, Fari. I like the video on this thing, man. It's oh crap. Speak to it. I'm trying to. Uh, I just love the color reproduction of this thing. Oh, come on, play, please. Do not be like that. Here we go. Yeah. Should I just. Full screen. Whoops. Whoops. There you go. Cut, cut. There you go. So, <clears throat> I like the color on it. It, it turns out very well, and because it's a, a white screen, obviously it fills up the whole screen. Oh, crap. No, don't. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, surfing. Let's go to surfing now. Actually, one thing uh, um, is that, unlike the, uh, yeah, continue your yeah, okay. surfing. Uh, unlike the uh, uh, the Asus EPC, it doesn't have a, actually a custom um, its own custom software and all that. Actually, a, a one advantage I think the Windows XP part is actually a good advantage compared good to advantage. the Asus EPC and the CloudBook EverX and all that kind of stuff. Simply because it's well, it's Windows, you know. It's portable. You know, you can use it. And, and it's stuff that most people are using. Unless I like the Linux, the Linux and uh, not, not that I have anything against Linux. It's just that the the software that actually comes with many of these uh, computers similar to. You know, it's hardware specifications. It's hard to work with the cross, com it's, cross compatibility, uh, and it's quite pretty limited actually. Yes. Sometimes, so I mean, we know with Windows XP, it's like, oh, you have a Word document, you just pass it to me, I'll read it in my spare time. Yeah, so it, it's it's pretty good, and you know, you can do use make use of the applications that you usually use. Uh, one last thing, do you know anything about the price? Price is two hundred and thirty dollars US. Two hundred and thirty dollars US. US US. So that's about four hundred Singapore dollars. No, nah, less than that. Less than 400, around that area. Okay. By the time it comes here, probably um, 350. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so that's it. That's all about the Asus EPC. Actually, if you want to actually find out, ask us a little bit more questions about the Asus EPC, why not email us, uh, channel65 at tech65.org. Mm. Uh, and don't forget to check out some of our other videos and podcasts on tech65.org. Yeah, we might be talking about this soon. Yeah, we'll probably be talking about Yeah, we'll, we'll be spending a little bit more yeah, time, so really, know why, uh, ask us yeah. questions, you know, so that we can ask us questions as soon as possible, so we can answer them. And yeah. if we still have it in time for you, we'll probably reply and just answer some of your questions, you know, if we have the chance. So that's about it. Right? I'm Daniel. I'm Farinelli. And I guess we'll see you guys next time. Bye!